is something so real in contrast to what Hollywood is, a very powerful illusion. I've been in show business since I was 14. They're trying to kill me. The whole time, they're trying to convince me I'm insane. They said, your fans will believe that you're a crazy crackhead by the time you get home. Am I Guy on the flight in LA, and by the time he got to Ohio, Cat Williams has given a serious warning to Dave Chappelle, claiming that Hollywood elites are trying to silence him because of his recent comments. So, what's the deal? In his latest Netflix special, Chappelle didn't hold back on making jokes about transgender issues, even though he faced criticism for similar jokes in his 2021 stand up show. The new special, called The Dreamer, was released on December 31st. Chappelle not only addressed the previous controversy, but also stuck to his opinions about the transgender community. What's the complete story behind all this, you ask? Let's dive deeper into this mess. But of course, before we go any further, make sure first that you subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell for more updates and videos like this. Now, let's get going. In part one of the special that's now popular on social media, Chappelle talks about visiting Jim Carrey on the set of his 1999 movie, The Man on the Moon. Carrey was portraying comedian Andy Kaufman, using a method approach, staying in character all the time. The crew instructed Chappelle to address Carrey as Andy when they met. And he called me up and he goes, Dave, he says, I'm doing a movie with Jim Carrey. Um, do you want to meet him? And I said, F decent people who bring joy to the world been dedicated to it for years, for decades. How dare they be smart? Later on, Chappelle made a joke in the special, saying he wouldn't discuss trans people more than three or four times because it wasn't worth the hassle. He also mentioned that he was attempting to improve his relationship with the transgender community by creating a play. The play revolves around a black transgender woman, unfortunately referred to by the pronoun N. Chappelle described it as a tearjerker. In the play's conclusion, the character perishes of loneliness because white liberals struggle to communicate with her. Chappelle added a humorous touch, saying, it's sad. I'm insane. People think I made a lot of money for Chappelle's show. When I left that show, I never got paid. There is to a degree. Like, when I, I connect dots that maybe shouldn't be connected, like when I see that they put every black man in the movie. Chappelle didn't shy away from poking fun at California prisons, where inmates can now be placed based on their gender identity. He joked that if he ever got arrested, he'd identify as a woman to end up in a women's prison. He also shared an incident from 2022 when he was attacked on stage by someone from the LGBTQ community who was upset by his comedy. Chappelle playfully mocked the media's reaction, suggesting he could have been molested by the attacker who identified as bisexual. This isn't the first time Chappelle has faced criticism for joking about the LGBTQ community. In his 2021 stand-up special, The Closure, he made light of J.K. Rowling's 2019 statement that transgender women weren't really women and posed a threat to her identity. And they've canceled people that are more powerful than me. In 2019, J.K. Rowling defended Maya Forstadter, who lost her job over anti-trans comments. Rowling supported people's right to dress and identify freely, but opposed job loss for affirming gender reality. In June 2020, she questioned the term, people who menstruate, and emphasized the reality and importance of gender. Rowling faced backlash, including serious threats, leading to hashtag RIP JK Rowling trending. She was labeled a TERF by the LBGTQ community. Chappelle, after his Netflix special, faced criticism for anti-LGBTQ content. Glad argued it violated Netflix's hate-free policy. Trans activists accused him of overlooking black trans issues and distorting Rowling's stance. David Johns urged Netflix to remove the special, citing the rising cruelty against black transgender individuals in 2021. I cannot get to sit here and talk to you. Ain't no weak people talking to you. So what is happening in Hollywood? Now it appears that Cat Williams has stepped up to uncover the repercussions of exposing the dark side of Hollywood. In a straightforward admission, he shared how producers shamelessly threatened Dave Chappelle in an attempt to silence his bold voice. That's not the end of it. They even went so far as to use the old tactic of labeling him as crazy to undermine the impact of his powerful messages. 
Meanwhile, conspiracy theorists are buzzing with speculation after comedian Dave Chappelle made some surprising statements in a recently surfaced interview with the legendary James Lipton. According to these theorists, Chappelle might have made himself a target for the elusive Hollywood elites. As Chappelle fearlessly took the stage, he delivered a punch that left everyone astonished. But what did he really mean? Could he have been hinting at a secret society manipulating things behind the scenes in Hollywood? Damn, they're Chappelle. trying to convince me I'm insane. They were trying to get me to take psychotic medication. Yeah, like I'm sitting around, you know, I was stressed out. But the people that were telling me I was insane, I believe that they knew what was going on. Chappelle's enigmatic words triggered speculation and fueled wild theories about secret meetings, hidden symbols, and covert deals. Is there a hidden agenda behind the glitz and glamour of fame? Are influential figures pulling the strings on who becomes famous and who fades away? Conspiracy theorists saw Chappelle's bold statements as making him a target for challenging the established order and addressing taboo subjects. To understand this, the rise of cancel culture, where individuals face public backlash for perceived offensive behavior, has put comedians under increased scrutiny. Chappelle and Cat Williams have both spoken out against cancel culture, arguing that it stifles creativity and discourages comedians from addressing controversial topics, undermining comedy's role as a platform for social commentary. Chappelle's perspective aligns with a broader sentiment in the comedy community. Supporters argue that influential figures like Oprah Winfrey and Tyler Perry shaping discussions on gender orientation contribute to the heightened sensitivity. While recognizing the importance of inclusive dialogues, Chappelle suggests that emphasizing certain issues may unintentionally hinder comedic expression. Fear of backlash might discourage comedians from engaging in meaningful conversations about gender, fostering self-censorship. Rumors suggest Tyler Perry is actively promoting this agenda, with allegations of being gay and using his past marriage as a cover for his true orientation. Content creator Walter Lee Hampton has confirmed these rumors about Perry being gay on the down low. Tyler Perry is gay. I know he's gay. He knows he's gay. We all have friends that know he's gay. I've hung around Tyler Perry. I've known just paid out millions of dollars to keep his a secret. According to Hampton, Tyler Perry has reportedly paid substantial amounts to safeguard his secrets, using non-disclosure agreements with individuals holding information about Perry's orientation. Another influential figure tied to the transgender agenda is Oprah Winfrey, who despite her public image as a philanthropist, has a surprising side. Dave Chappelle, known for his comedy, has been working tirelessly to expose Oprah's controversial side for years and is seemingly ready to unveil the truth. If Oprah has concealed secrets, it might be time for the world to learn about them. Chappelle has highlighted how Hollywood elites influence creatives, criticizing the industry's treatment of black comedians. He believes Kevin Hart's comedy success may have involved compromising principles. In a resurfaced interview, Chappelle disclosed industry pressure to wear a dress and questioned Kevin Hart about similar experiences. Despite initial denials, Hart later appeared on Saturday Night Live in a dress, sparking debates about compromises for success in Hollywood. It was just like, wow. Honestly? <laughs> yeah. Oh, please. Oh, please. <laughs> okay. One black guy, I know what happens when they are going to elevate. Chappelle has been a strong critic of Hollywood's shady dealings. He's revealed how bigwigs in the industry tried to control him making him agree to use his name and likeness forever, as per his contract. The idea that entertainers are forced to wear dresses on screen before becoming famous has been talked about for a long time. Many successful black comedians and actors have bravely shared their experiences, saying they were pressured to wear dresses even when it didn't make sense in the story. Chappelle is a key part of this story, as he turned down a $50 million deal from Comedy Central in 2005. Amidst rumors of drug problems and a mental breakdown, he disappeared to South Africa without telling anyone. When he came back, he told Oprah that he didn't walk away from the money, but from the tough conditions that came with the deal. Chappelle noticed how others were treated before hitting big fame. Many entertainers right before making it big found themselves in scandals or personal problems. Chappelle pointed to examples like Mariah Carey's troubles after a massive deal and Martin Lawrence's infamous gun incident during his rise. In his talk with Oprah, 
Chappelle hinted at the pressure to create sketches that make people laugh at him, not with him, and compromise his integrity. Wearing dresses was just one part of the problem for Chappelle. He connected the dots between black actors getting stuck in certain roles and the bigger workings of the industry. He shared a shocking experience on a movie set where he found a dress in his trailer, even though it wasn't in the script. When he spoke up about feeling uncomfortable, the writers and producers kept pushing him, saying all the greats had done it. Funny stuff every morning, but then he goes rogue. He starts, like, attacking celebrities that are friends of mine, and of all these celebrities, Cat Williams. <laughs> well, Cat Williams wasn't having that. <laughs> Adding to this, Cat Williams has shared his own experiences, giving more insight into the issue. Known for his direct and unfiltered comedic style, Williams hasn't hesitated to speak truthfully about the darker side of Hollywood. He openly talks about the compromises he has had to make during his journey in the industry. In a candid interview, Williams revealed that he, too, faced pressure to wear a dress early in his career. He explained that this was a common expectation in Hollywood, especially for black comedians to portray exaggerated and often offensive versions of black women, reinforcing negative stereotypes. Williams' openness about his struggles adds credibility to Chappelle's claims. Now that Chappelle is unveiling alleged dark secrets about these celebrities, it's no surprise that Hollywood elites are taking notice. They see him as a threat to their carefully crafted public images and the narratives they want the world to believe. But Dave Chappelle isn't easily intimidated. His career is built on speaking truth to power and exposing the hypocrisy in the entertainment industry. He understands the weight his voice carries and won't shy away from revealing hidden truths that others might want to keep buried. As Dave continues to speak out and expose Hollywood elites allegedly involved in cancel culture, he faces an uphill battle. The industry is a closely connected network of power and influence, and those who challenge it often face pushback and attempts to discredit them. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more videos like this.